What's up everybody? This is Justin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And we are continuing to talk about persuasion. So how to persuade ourselves and others. And in this video, I would like to talk about persuasion and honesty. So those are two things that I feel like very often don't go together. And I think this is a really big question in sales, right? Especially for people who are maybe just starting or maybe people that aren't in sales, but are looking to other salespeople and they're like, you know, should you be dishonest? Is that really the way to be successful at this? Is it the best trickster wins? Um, you know, is there utility to being dishonest? Um, are those people that are being dishonest, are those the ones that are successful? Um, and you know, those are good questions. And I, I honestly think that the reason a lot of people are dishonest in sales is because they think that that's the best way and the most effective. And maybe they just think that's, that's the only way that can be. Um, but I don't think that's true. And I'm going to talk about two main things that I think are problematic with this. So the first is you're compromising your integrity, integrity, you're compromising yourself. So first and foremost, we are our own product and people buy us way more than anything else. So if you're compromising your integrity and yourself, if you know in your heart that you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing, um, that's dishonest, that's potentially harmful to that other person, and you know, you know that you're doing it, you kind of can't completely buy yourself and then you can't completely sell to, to the level that you would be able to. You also, Brian Tracy says that the more that you care, the more strongly you can close. So if you are not really completely buying yourself, then you're not going to be able to close as strongly and as effectively. And of course, that's a problem for business. Um, but the other big problem here too, guys, is that, you know, you might not realize it or we might not realize it, but people know when we're lying. So most people, the way they would describe it is that they get this gut feeling like, oh, there was something not quite right with that person and I'm not really sure what it was, but I just kind of felt it and I just kind of didn't really like them. You know, and, and we get these um, these kind of instincts right away with people, right? Like, oh, there's something wrong with this person. Um, not so sure about this person. So I'm just giving my arm a rest here. Forgive me. Um, the problem is, guys, is that so there's your words, your tone and your body language, right? When all of these three line up, you're very congruent, we say, and you're very trustworthy. So let's say that I'm being honest with you, which I am because I don't even really know how to be any other way and my body language is open and kind of showing my palms and my tone and everything is kind of lining up, then it makes me seem very honest because I am and everything's lining up. So when you get somebody, a salesperson or whoever the case may be, um, and you get that gut feeling that they're not being honest, what you're actually seeing is you're seeing uh, incongruency in their tone, their body language and their words. So let me give you an example. So let's say someone's like, the words are, um, this is a great deal for you. So let's say that they're kind of crossing their arms. I'm holding my camera, so it's a little difficult, but they're like, this is a great deal for you. You would feel like something's kind of wrong. The reason, even if you're not perceiving it of, of why you're realizing that is because their body language is contradicting it. Or let's say, again, the words are, this is a good deal for you, but their tone is a little off and they're like, this is a good deal for you. Like, And you would feel like, oh, well, well he's saying it's a good deal for me, but why is there something that I don't quite trust? So. Um, to protect yourself, you can watch other people's body language. You can watch how congruent are they? Are they open um, in their body language, in their tone or the words? Is what they're saying matching up with how they're moving? Um, and then guys, also for ourselves. So for example, I would like to believe that everybody here watching this, we wanna be honest or hopefully as honest as, as we possibly can and keep getting better if, if you're on that journey. Um, but there's things we can do too, again. Um, your tone should match your words, should match your body language. You can have your palms up like this. It's more trustworthy to show your stomach in the direction of the person, um, your chest. So there's a lot of things that you can do guys to appear more trustworthy, but those things are only gonna work if you are being trustworthy. So let's say that there's someone who is less than honest and they're kind of trying to show you their palms and they're trying to do these certain open, positive body language things. But because body language is so difficult to control, um, it's gonna come out maybe in a micro twitch. Maybe someone's like, this is a good deal for you and their face kind of twitches or they're kind of self-pacifying, touching themselves. Um, those are all kind of little tells. So um, I switch my arms here, give myself a little rest. So yeah, guys, I think, I think that a lot of times people think that persuasion and honesty are kind of like an oxymoron. Like, 
you know, you have to be slippery and slick. Um, I'll leave you with kind of a, a final story of, of something that happened the other day. I was at a conference and this guy was talking about his courses and they're normally $12,000, but you know, he's giving it for 900 and something. And you know, his, his body language was a little off. His tone was a little off. The numbers sounded a little off. Um, and you know your gut tells you something but then as you get better with the body language stuff you can kind of see like okay um something is not quite right here and and i mean i don't know how much of the course he ended up selling that day but i feel pretty confident that it was nowhere near what he could have if he kind of more bought himself the integrity of himself and had that congruency to really present it in a way that's like wow you know this guy this guy is for real um so for everybody if you're in sales, whether you're you are the one that is selling or if you're the customer um, and you're trying to figure out if this person is being honest, if you should trust them. Um, first of all, guys, like I said, always, always good to be honest and have integrity so you can buy yourself. Step one. And so you can appear honest because you are honest um, with the people you're speaking to. And then, guys, again, as a consumer. So if you're sensing something, that gut feeling, watch their body language, watch their tone watch their words are they all lining up do you feel at peace um and you know the, the people that tend to feel at peace with you and comfortable with you that that you're honest and have integrity are probably going to move forward with you and and the people that feel like something's off probably aren't and then those are the short-term things and then guys obviously the long-term things um you know you get a reputation with other people in your business and and other potential customers as somebody who is a little bit sketchy and a little bit shady and then those tactics that you just tried to do short term because you thought that dishonesty was the way to be more persuasive um they most likely lost you that sale or if they didn't they definitely lost you sales in the future so um i'm this is something i really strongly believe in the my method of the way i do sales and persuasion is i i always want to leave somebody better than I found them. I always want to contribute to their life. I always want to figure what's important for them, what's valuable to them, how can I help them to get what they want. Um, and when you're coming coming from kind of that position of honesty and integrity and really caring about others and believing in yourself with that congruency and then and presenting with congruency because you are being honest, that's very, very powerful, guys. So um, I'm going to shut this off. But again, persuasion and honesty, if you feel in your gut something's not quite right, you're probably feeling a contradiction of something of their tone, their words and their body language and listen to that contradiction guys. And then in yourself, integrity and being honest with people will help you to buy yourself so you can close more effectively. And then it will also just help you to appear more honest because you are more honest because you're the best. If you're watching this, you're one of my friends. I have lots of love for you. You're the best. So once again, my arm is getting a little bit tired. So we're gonna call it now. Thank you so, so much. Um, if you missed my first video, guys, it was about how to get started on YouTube. Um, it was all kind of about the mindset. Um, if you've been thinking about wanting to do that for a while, um, maybe that's a video that will help you. The second one was about how to sell anything. I really kind of try to map out um, just my way that I go about that, which was inspired by Jim Rohn, who says you have to meet people where they are before you can take them where you want to go. So how to sell anything, check it out if you like. And then this video as well, persuasion and honesty. So guys, if you like these videos, please like to let me know, show me lots of love, subscribe, share it with your friends if you think it's something that could be valuable for them. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next week and lots of love. Peace.